Hello and welcome to Daily Austin Music. My name is Colin McDonald and this is Damn Art. Daily Austin Music album review time, made possible by Spotify. Start your free 30-day trial by clicking the link in the video description. Now today we're going to start off by looking at Gary Clark Jr.'s new record, This Lamb. Now overall, lyrically and songwriting, honestly this is like a 9 out of 10. There's a lot going on in this record. There is so many one-note bends that just go on forever. And, and it's such a noisy record. I honestly checked to see if I had something else playing in another room or on my speakers multiple times to see what exactly was going on. So the record starts off with This Land, which is a great song. Now in the solo on this one, there's these out of tune harmonics. Now this is the Austin sound, unfortunately. Pick a note and just bend it and then Bend it some more, and then bend it some more, and it's really just too bad we stole this from a Canadian gorilla. This song is six minutes long with not a whole lot of guitar work other than the one note stuff. Now the second song, What About Us, this is a noisy, noisy song. Not like analog hiss, it's just a lot of stuff. It's got a great chorus, it really achieves the marriage of old and new with something real to say, which is nice to hear, but the lead guitar at 315 Oh, I love, I love the falsetto vocals and, and generally the melody through this whole album is just covered up by noise. Either guitar or trap hi-hats that are too loud or just random noise kind of stuff that's going on in the back. Now the third track, I Got My Eyes On You, Locked and Loaded. This track intro is straight up awesome. I wish this was the Austin sound we were known for. But why is the guitar so ungodly loud? In the second verse, pulsing synth, why is this happening? Why so many things? The guitar is just awful once it switches to the lead tracks. There's a difference in innovation and in just using whatever you have laying around. The song, I Walk Alone, I don't even know what this is. It's like Johnny Rotten trying to sound like heart. It's confusing and it hurts my head. What even is this? <laughs> I'm genuinely confused by this whole track. Track number five, Feeling Like a Million. This is video game reggae with trap hi-hats. I don't know what we're trying to accomplish here. Now the song Gotta Get Into Something is very Ramones punk, but it's so super clean it feels like if Apple computers made a punk song, this is what it sounds like. I'm willing to bet this song will be in a commercial or a movie very soon. And the song When I'm Gone, Gary Clark and the Dap Kings. Cool song, great groove, so much cleaner sounding than the other tracks. I really, really dug this one. The song Low Down Rolling Stone, this is Bright Lights, Big City, Part 2. It's a good song, cool vibe, sounds like it could have gone on that record. The Governor, this is If Apple Computers Made a Robert Johnson Song. Don't Wait Till Tomorrow, this is 21st Century Teen Pop with a remixed guitar over it. An out-of-tune guitar? How do you even get away with this stuff? I feel like I'm being rickrolled. It's not that it's like bad, it's just not that it's good either. And the last song did that. It's a straight pop song with beautiful melody, great songwriting. I really, really like this direction. And I, 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 I kind of hope the next album follows in this model rather than this trap blues thing. Will I listen to this record again? I don't know. Maybe? It's been getting a lot of great reviews and uh, I obviously didn't feel the same way. So I'd love to know what you think about this record in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please check the links on where to stream, buy, and share this record. I'll see you tomorrow.